right, so we're here in the PVP section of our little interviews here um, and our little podcast. Uh, this is Arctic. Arctic. How's it going, y'all? Uh, my name is Real DP, and let's get this thing going. Uh, for the you know first episode, I think we're just gonna really go over basics and see what type of player you are, and maybe some sm small you know hints and tips just start out. So um, we're gonna go over what type of you know player you are. Are you a, are you a hunter? Are you a warlock? And are you a titan? Each have their own styles, so you need to get that character matching your style. Arctic, you're, uh, what's your main, sir? Uh, my main for PvP is Hunter, and typically it's Top Tree, Night Stalker. Oh. Uh, I've been playing around a little bit with Bottom Tree, Gunslinger recently. Um, go for it. No, no, no. Um, yeah, I was just going to say, you know, me and you, you know, known each other a while, so we kind of do the same things, other than you're a much better shot than I am. <laughs> So, um, I guess, let's say, you know, hunters are very, a lot of mobility, a lot of height, a lot of quick, fast paced things. Whereas, uh, have you ever, you do a lot of warlock too, right? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Not recently, but absolutely. Oh, I'll, I'll let you talk on the warlock. I hardly ever touch him. Yeah. So, uh, on warlock, uh, for me personally, as a PvP player, for everything, it's all about mobility. I know that my ability to move around the map will save me more often than not. Uh, and being fastest to the to the hot spots of the map is always super important. So top tree, uh, Dom Blade uh, with transversives with Warlock, uh, very fast. The the Icarus dash is incredibly quick. Um, same thing with Hunter. Uh, always the the neutral game for a Hunter. And in the mobility there is always top priority for me too. But yeah, Warlock, very fast, top three down blade, 100%. Oh yeah. Um, I, the little bit that I've done with Warlock, I've experimented on all of it. And while I enjoy the Warlock, it's just not my style of play. Uh, the jump, you know, kills me. That's, I, I think that's why they did the Icarus dash. Um, but I always enjoyed top three Nova Bomb, just a big, slow methodic bog that tracks around corners i don't know and, and then the explosion that's me ever yeah. since d1 actually yep slova bomb was definitely nice and d1 was more of uh the smaller no the, guy the shatter yep yep yeah. absolutely so um yeah i mean i haven't played a whole lot of void walker in d2 frankly that's what i mean that blink D1. man <laughs> that blink is insane if you know how to use it yeah. all right so uh, going to Titan, I think we can both agree you just get up in their face and punch them. <laughs> yep, yep, absolutely. Uh, I would say if you're a more aggressive player and you want to do a lot of, you know, shotgunning and things like that, uh, Titan's probably definitely your style of play. Um, they are the slowest class, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So you got to uh, really got to use your brain on Titan because they don't have much to do other than just sit there, eat a crayon, and wait to punch someone, right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> use, your, use your shields as much as you can, yes. absolutely. Um, That's the best thing Titans offer. All right, well, if that's... We're both hunters. I played more on Titan than I have on Warlock. Um, I guess we'll just go into each one. Uh, why do you choose, because I'm, it might be a little different than mine, but um, why do you choose top tree on a hunter for Void? Um, the biggest reason, and as, as dumb as a lot of top tier players might think it is, it's about the invisibility um, nope. that invis dodge has saved me more often than not. And while it, it doesn't do much for the visual, the tracking for players it, it, it throws them off. So yeah. especially in my one-on-one -on -one gunfights and even my, you know, multiple people on me gunfights, if I'm able to to dodge out of there with my invisibility, it's about survivability. It's about taking the shots where I can and then moving on. So that that's my biggest reason for it. 
Okay, so we're uh, in agreement. Uh, my other reason is f for a shutdown super. It can shut down almost any super. Um, so there's the two biggest cons, or I mean, you know, pros right there. So, but the only con that I really see is in the super itself. If you're gonna go in and you wanna kill people with your super, that is not the super. Uh, you know, like you said, that's more the neutral game. Yep. So if that's your style of play that you don't really care about your super too much, then cool. The only thing is you're going to get aggravated on that super because the tether is, in my opinion, it needs a buff on how f you know fast it you know grabs people for sure. Yep, absolutely. And it the the time it takes to uh, summon and cast the the super it takes a long time. You don't have you don't have a lot of protection when you're doing it. It's very easy to kill hunters when they're casting their supers. Yep. Um, and it, it does take a really long time for it to even activate and proc. However, in a more defensive style of play, you can just lay it down and it'll yep. sit there until it's activated for, you know, an entire round of a match. It lasts a long, a long time. time. Yeah, it does. Um, I know you said you were, you're messing around with your know, bottom tree gunslinger. Um, I did. Uh, I, I enjoy it, but I've actually been doing a lot of top tree arc staff. Yeah. yeah. Um, as far as gunslinger, in, in my opinion, I enjoy it. To, uh, with the practice makes perfect. If you can land any kind of you know, headshots or precision hits, it's a really good you know, super for you because you're going to get it back fast. You only get three shots, but um, the only thing that I found that was that I didn't like was in s a few supers you can't you know one shot body shot them with a you know golden gun. Yeah, and that's that goes for both top and bottom tree. Like there's yeah. even points in top tree where if you're too far away, you're not going to one hit anyone, even out of super. Yeah, it, it, it's really strange that uh, it's mainly titans that I can't kill. Especially like 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 a sentinel shield. I shot them point blank with golden gun, and they you know laughed at me and then punched me. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> so, that's, that's something that happens. So you got to be careful there. Arc staff, I'm still like I do it from time to time, and uh, while it is good and I enjoy it, it's still all about the neutral game. Yeah. With you know from the extra protection in your dodge on bottom tree or the little confusion punch and stuff like that so yeah absolutely and i i played a little bit with middle tree arc strider mm -hmm. um and while it's fun just something about a, a few of these roaming supers i just don't understand it yet and i just need more practice with so something like golden gun is a little bit easier to to kind of get my mind wrapped around or a single shot uh super like the tether or blade barrage is is easier to just throw out yeah. there yeah um i guess in the coming segments we'll talk about each class uh like you know we kind of hit on them but uh you know this time it was really about the hunter um the thing with hunters is you really have to choose when you're going to engage and when you need to disengage. And a lot of people don't understand that you don't always peek back. I mean, and as as a hunter, you can jump back into cover and disengage if you feel like you're not going to do it. And you can you know, run away. It's not hard. Yeah. Um, if, if, if I had to give one big tip about hunters is they are squishy. <laughs> yeah, they 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 don't take a lot to bring down, but man, are they squirrely! And if you're able to use your movement, jump around a lot, stay high, stay low, just yeah. do everything in your power to to uh, to stay alive, you're good. So, yeah. uh, well, uh, we'll talk more about this, you know, in in later episodes and all, and we'll get back with the other classes. For now, I'm we're gonna send it back over to Satan. 
Thanks, guys. Hold on to your ghosts. Oh, yes. The battle lines have been drawn. Amuse me, Traveler Spawn. You're on the edge of victory. Annihilate them. As if my life wasn't hard enough already. If you think this armor is impressive, you should see me out of it.